Let's talk about the difference between veins and arteries. Veins and arteries. Vasculature would be the overarching term. It's all branches of the heart tree. Uh, there are interesting different textures, different functions, different roles in the functioning of the circulation of the blood. We've got Captain here to beautifully present the differences between veins and arteries. Come on down and have a look. We've dissected Captain's thighs here, taking away the skin and the superficial fascia, even the deep fascia, to show the musculatures, but we still have the, the cutaneous nerves spread out here in their beautiful array. And we're going to focus on the area on both sides, really, of an area we call the femoral triangle. So a femoral triangle is bordered by the abdominal wall here, by the sartorius muscle tissue here, and the adductor longus here, which creates a beautiful triangular frame to show a few famous cool structures like the femoral nerve. Isn't that awesome? Look at the size of that chunky nerve there coming from uh, right out of our psoas, actually, uh, deep inside the belly wall there. And then we have two structures here. This would be the femoral artery, and this would be the femoral vein. The femoral vein's been cut, you can see here, because the great saphenous vein and its branches were coming off of here. So one thing you see immediately when you look at these two structures is this one's kind of pink or pale or something like that, and this one's darker. Now, the vein is... Uh, having these different colors, so there's difference number one, kind of a different coloration because of the different thicknesses of the vessel wall. So the artery is much thicker and more muscular. The vein is thinner and floppier. You see how floppy that is? When I go like that to the vein, it's floppy. When I go like this to the artery, it's kind of, it's kind of bouncy, trouncy, and stout, right? So the artery is bouncy, trouncy. The the vein is floppy because of the very significant difference in the thickness of the walls between the two. The artery is very muscular because it's, it's carrying the high velocity vortex of blood uh, that's generated by the contraction of the heart muscle tissue at its center that sends the blood spinning down this way. So here's another difference. The artery is carrying the blood away from the heart, the spinning vortex, and then it kind of meanders on back towards the heart, up the vein. It's kind of a low pressure system on this side and a higher pressure system on this side. The artery is carrying the oxygenated blood away from the heart, and the vein is carrying the relatively deoxygenated blood with a ca higher carbon dioxide content back towards the heart. So, Difference in color, difference in vessel wall thickness. Uh, what else is different? <laughs> because we have this high velocity vortex going through the artery as the heart pulses, um, there's a difference then also, there's no, what do you call them, valve? There's no valves in your arteries, right? It's a clear, it's a clear open pathway. But when we get to the venous system, we have valves because it's, uh, as I said, it's a low pressure system. The blood is kind of just meandering on back up here. And in order to keep it going towards the heart, uh, the, the, the vessels have developed little catchment systems. So it's like little floppy bits of membrane here, so that as the blood passes through a valve, it, it, it'll fill two cups on either side, and it won't go backwards. So we won't have backflow as it's going up. So, because we don't have the kind of the force of the vortex carrying the blood forward. Instead, we just have the low pressure of the thorax drawing the blood upwards. And in order to facilitate that, we have valves in our veins, and we don't have that in our arteries. About 70% of our blood is actually in our veins. Uh, that's another difference. The veins are, are carrying more blood. In, in terms of total volume than the arteries. It's just sort of an interesting, fun fact to know. And I don't know, I'm just fascinated by things. Come over to this side and I'll show you one more difference. Uh, over here on the right side, we have, if you look really carefully, can you see the little squiggles? Get really close. See the little squiggles on the artery? What do we have? We have arteries on the arteries. We have the, what they call the vasorum, the vessels on the vessels. We actually have veins and arteries on the vessels that are delivering blood to this muscle wall. It doesn't just seep 
it doesn't just seep in from inside. That would kind of defeat the purpose if all the blood that was in the vessel would just seep out of it to the vessel. So it has its own little vessels here, delivering blood and, carry, and carrying, ox, bringing oxygenated blood to the vessel wall and, and veins carrying it away from the vessel wall. Pretty amazing uh, little vessels. And we also have those on the veins, but the, because the vessel wall is so thin by comparison, the, the vasculature of the vessel wall of the vein is going to be much smaller, so we can't see it. So that's another little difference. We can see the vasovasorum on the artery shining off of its kind of pinkish muscular wall. And on the vein, uh, sorry, Adelok, too tiny, can't see it. But they're there, uh, just a lot smaller uh, to go with the small vessel wall. Um, so there's a few differences between the veins and the arteries of our vasculature system, the beautiful branches of the heart tree uh, circulating from center to periphery and back. 60,000 miles of amazing gifts. Thanks, Captain. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.